Hello everyone, in this video we're going to review how to load data into Dynomics. Let's get started. So I've already logged into the platform and here I am and I have currently no files in my files folder. So what I want to do is uh, I want to load some data and in this video we're going to load well log data, well header data, tops, production data, and shape files. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by going file upload logs and I'm going to give this a name in this case I'm going to call it welcome project then I'm going to select choose files and I'm going to select a zip folder that contains my LAS data I'm going to hit open and you'll see here it has some options for API uh, validation so for example we can have it strip spaces and dashes and we can have it either pad or truncate the API number to a predetermined number of uh, digits. In this case, it'll be a 14 uh, digit API. I'll hit OK. And here it opens up a dialog where it says creating welcome project, and then the data will upload, process, and then it'll be ready for use. While this data is uploading and processing, we'll create a few other databases. So I'm now going to upload my well headers. So I'm going to say file upload well headers. I'm going to give it a name. Since this is data from the same area, I'm going to give it the same name, welcome project, and the extension .wdb for well header database is what's going to be different here. I'm going to say choose file. Then I will navigate to my well headers. In this case, I'm loading an Excel spreadsheet of data. I'm going to tell the software that my data has one header row. And now I will play a game of match the columns here. So API to API, uh, latitude to latitude, longe to longe. And we'll just scan across here and see if anything needs to be changed. Okay, here we need to set our lease name, our well name, and our status. <clears throat> Once again, we have the API validation here. And we'll hit OK. One thing to note is if instead of using lat long, you would like to use uh, XY data, you can do that. However, you'll need to bring in a projection file with that. So we'll hit OK. This data will now upload and process. So we're now going to upload tops. So we're going to say file, upload tops. We'll give it a name. In this case, once again, I'm going to call it welcome project since this is from the same group of wells. Choose our tops, hit OK, and OK there. And then finally, we're going to upload some production data from these wells. So file, upload production. Once again, we'll give it a name. Hit choose file. Navigate to our production data. So for production data, uh, we need to tell it the production interval. In this case, it's monthly data. And then similar to well headers, we'll match the columns, API, date, oil, gas, and water in this case. And we'll hit OK. <clears throat> and finally, uh, for the purpose of, of demonstration and for building maps uh, later on, we're going to bring in some shape files as well. This can be shape files of things like county boundaries and townships, which is what we're bringing in now, or it could also be things like your company's acreage. Uh, so it can really be any type of shape file. So right click, upload, I'm going to say upload shapes. And I'm going to, this data is from Wyoming, so I'm going to call this Wyoming counties. Say choose file. And I'm going to choose my counties. And you'll notice here, I'm also required to upload a projection file if I have one. We'll hit OK there. And finally, once again, we'll repeat this process for our townships. And hit OK. Now, once that's completed, 
<clears throat> you'll notice these now say finished and we can come here and inspect the results by clicking on the small uh, sheet of paper icon over on the right hand side. So here we have uh, the output from loading the log database and it tells us we have 47 files that have been successfully imported and it gives us a list of the API numbers. If there were any errors on import, uh, such as a bad file format, it would be listed here with an explanation of why it didn't load. You can evaluate any load problems that you may have had for any of these databases by clicking on this icon. To preview your data uh, before you create a project, you can also click on the database itself. For example, if I click on the log database and then click on the, uh, the file here, it'll bring up an inventory of my logs so I can inspect them and see what's here. So we have a, a list of our logs and we can preview the curves. We can also uh, preview things like our well header database where it'll give us a quick uh, way to evaluate our data and we can even sort these by clicking on the headers. So for things like elevation and we can see that in this case we clearly have an error and we'll come back to fix that later on. Okay, that's it for loading data. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always contact us at support at Thank you.